Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic here, back with another video. Uh, today we're going over a little bit of 2v2 gameplay, and we're going to see what I need to do to improve my gameplay. At the same time, hopefully it'll help some of you guys. Um, I know you guys appreciated my 1v1 series, uh, and look forward to some more 2v2s and maybe some 3v3 series. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, as I am duoed up with a guy that I have not much experience with I just played about a game beforehand and that's about it so we won't be using any kind of communication it'll basically be solo queue but I would always end up uh, teaming up with somebody before you go in just trying other people out so you get good chemistry with so that's basically what I'm doing here in this video uh, testing out my chemistry with another player at the same time learning and improving on what I need to learn and improve on so hope you guys enjoy and learn a little bit about what can make you better at 2 for 2s all right, guys, I just got done playing with a teammate named I Hate Learning. Uh, this is like my first or second game with him, so uh, it did go well the first game, but we're going to see how long we can keep this going, and we're going to go over some uh, ways to improve in 2v2s uh, because we do have a series for 1v1s, and we have been requested to do some 2v2 series uh, gameplay reviews, so we're in it here with the kickoff. Um, in the beginning, you want to try to listen if you're playing solo, you want to try to listen to where your teammate's going to be. Um, you can, you know, you can hear his engine when he's uh, moving. Um, right there in the beginning, I just, we, I mean, we both failed. It looks like a lot of failing in the beginning of this, just not knowing where the ball is going to end up. You got a really soft touch there to the right corner. Uh, nothing you will really want. And the other guy misreads, and my teammate takes advantage of the situation and sinks it through. Uh, he is a little bit higher. He's like C3 Div 3 probably, Div 2 maybe. Uh, he's probably C3 Div 2, and I am C2 Div 2. So he's a little bit higher. Um, I usually do sit in C3 when I'm playing doubles, but uh, we'll have to see this this couple games here and see if I actually deserve to be there or not. So um, He goes up for that hit. I'm just kind of circling, seeing if there's anything for me. I take the boost because twos, you can swallow any boost you want as long as it's not your teammates. Uh, right here, I tried to hit him on his way up. He pre-jumped it pretty well. I missed the missed the pretty easy pass, but right here. Um, it's a free goal right there. Uh, as he puts it in, a lot of pressure. He was kind of worried that I was going to have some boost right here to finish it off, I believe. So uh, It's not a really that bad of a play from the guy. He, he really didn't have much time or much to do with it. So Here we are. You want to listen to where his your teammate's going, he's on the left side, so I'm assuming he's gonna go left. For some reason I put it right. Uh, he did cheat up though, so it's all good. Um, I take some boost, and I see what he's doing here. Looks like it's an easy flick for him. I'm gonna stay back. I got 100 boost, no re reason to waste it yet. I kinda noticed he was gonna miss that first hit, and then I got kinda faked by the second guy thinking he was gonna miss because of the first miss, so. That's just a bad uh, bad play by me. Should have challenged that second hit pretty, pretty soon after that first miss, but. I didn't. So now we're here with the uh, 2 to 1, 344 left. I steal the boost from the guy doing the kickoff, try to get a pass off. The teammate doesn't want anything to do with it because it is a risky play, which is fine. Um, he has control now, tries to do something middle, tries to do solo play to get over the first guy. He gets blocked, and you know I just kind of settle the ball down, trying to wait for my teammate to get back. Uh, here I just do a little pop up to my teammate. He throws it up. I tried to spin it up the wall, but I couldn't, missed it, and he got a good demo, but I wasn't there for it. Um, Venom now takes the ball out. Right here, I need to get up there, and I do get up there in time, so that's big to keep possession of the ball. I try to get a ceiling shot I hit right here. I missed. Thank God my teammate is coming in, and he actually hit it because double commit with a double miss is never good. As I come all the way back for boost and miss it, I probably could have just collected a little boost pads in the middle. Um, you know, my teammate gets me a great pass, and I put her home. Um, yeah, just minor things there so far is I just missed the challenge. Nothing you can do with that besides be a little bit faster. And I need to pick up boost pads in the midfield rather than going all the way back uh, to get the full boost. Now I do a kickoff. I think he's going to be left. He's not left. You got to remember we are um, we are together, but we do not have communication. So we have no voice chat going on um, he misses the ball a little bit I get a good 50 to keep it alive for us he gets a nice touch right there to, you know 
keep the ball away from them for a little bit longer. Uh, useless hit by them. Do a banger clear from our teammate. Almost puts it in. Uh, he gets a good save. I kind of mess, mess up right here, but I make up for it with that pass. Learning gets a good opportunity and takes complete advantage of it with a nice follow. Um, right there, you just got to know when you're what kind of a teammate you have, uh, and you can figure that out within a within a couple of minutes. Um, so like right there, I knew he was going to turn because he is playing kind of aggressive. Uh, so we were able to take, take those guys down four to one. Um, I believe those guys were high champ too, at least. So took them out. We're going to start up another search and see what happens the next game. Uh, but you learn a lot there because you, you learn that you need to keep pads. Uh, you need to keep your boost up in the beginning um, but up in their midfield or their side you need to stay up and stay active on their side of the field because you don't want to lose pressure uh, but here we are against Vidtrix TV and Barry Dillon he says he needs boost which is a great call out from any teammate it's always good news when you get a guy saying needs boost because you know then you know how to go or where to go for the ball or not so no confusion um, you know he's not cheating up he's for boost so I do get a good little play there to keep control of the ball possession I try to make a little passing play there uh, to middle didn't really work out for me he hits a soft one middle uh, which is kind of risky works out for us uh, I'm going back post here nothing really there for me to send it up to so I just kind of put it away from him uh, there's a soft touch he says I got it right as I jump or maybe a little bit before and I just didn't see it uh, but I messed it up, and we are okay, though, because I got a solid hit. Um, right here, I think he just misses, uh, but we are okay and lucky because they miss as well. Uh, right here, I need to do a very long turnaround, and there's nothing really I could have done there. I think I was kind of just out of position in the first place. I didn't think he was going to get beat to that ball, so I pushed up too far because um, he has been playing really fast and hasn't been beat too much yet, so I was putting a lot of trust in them there uh, but I'm gonna go left and you want to consistently go to the same the same direction you usually do like inside or outside as I get a lucky save right there uh, because it gives your teammate when you're doing the kickoffs it gives your teammate kind of a sense of where you're always gonna be so like he knows where to put the ball back if he's you know a good teammate actually if he cares about winning he'll start recognizing where you're going off the kickoff so you do want to keep it consistent as we have a nice little passing play there as he passes it down to me I get the uh, tap in. Uh, I noticed it was a really bad clear, so obviously I stay up because you know that's not an easy, easy shot from him. So you got to just recognize when there's no uh, there's no real danger in staying up. So right there, I noticed there was no real danger, and I stayed up. Uh, here, I noticed he does actually have control of the ball. I try to get him to flick. I get him to flick. He puts it a little bit high, makes his teammate work hard for it, and this is here I tap it to learning on the left side and. Kind of a 50, and I'm getting a little too close to him there, but he solo plays it, so we're all good. Uh, spacing in twos is one of the biggest things, is making sure you are not too close, but not too far away. So, you know, on threes, you do want a guy on the ball, and you want a guy opposite, like, you know, on their opposite boost, basically, uh, on offense. Twos, not so much. You want a guy middle and a guy on the ball. You don't really want to ever go opposite, as it's, you're too far away from each other, and you can't really make much plays doing that. Uh, with with 2v2s, you do want a guy at midfield uh, or directly behind almost is better than opposite. Opposite is just not, not good enough. To so right here, I, I'm trying to keep control just because I saw the guy flying right behind me as well uh, off that back wall. So learning at a great flick there to a pass midfield. Fortunately, I got demoed and keeps control right there. I could have got to that ball. I slowed down because it was risky in the beginning, and then I, I realized too late that it was probably a possibility to at least get a 50 and keep, keep control, but learning's do a great job right now of keeping control. I get a bad touch on that shot. Uh, it was a pretty difficult shot, but I mean, it was a great pass. Um, gave me a chance, but gave them no chance sort of deal, so they mess up there. Uh, we get a fast break. I believe I'm able to get up there and get that ball. Yep. Okay, so this was just a fast break away with learning get a good clear uh, just being faster than the opponent is one of the major major ways to beat the opponent uh, 
uh, the opponent. Just being faster than them in twos and better mechanics is kind of just how shine shines. Um, right there, I get a rough kickoff. And learning kind of... He says this in chat. He says, whoops, and he, you know, he explains that he thought it was going out of the net right here. I think he thought it was going all the way across. and He was just going to be able to turn on it and take it up the wall, but... You know, you're not going to read everything perfectly every game, so people do make mistakes. I'm going to hit it right uh, for learning here, and he gets it stuffed, which is unfortunate because it was actually a pretty good setup. I need to get out of the corner here. I should be probably going back wall instead of not back wall. I should be going back post instead of back wall and just standing there, but it worked out. Um, right here, this guy has a good chance. I get the block. I didn't know if learning for sure had it or not. It's okay to double commit sometimes as long as you have a decent clear. I get a stuff on that guy. You don't want to give him too much time on the on the wall. I try to keep it to myself, play it to myself. Um, so they didn't have much. And right here, I try to get a beat on the ball, but I did miss it. And unfortunately, learning thought I had it. A second touch, and I missed that as well. With the zero boost, there wasn't much to be done. So here we are. Uh, he's got a nice carry here. Um, he misses the touch, and I should not be challenging that ball. I should notice he missed. We don't have a chance on that, and I should back down. But instead, I tried to follow up. Uh, it was just too late. I realized too late that he was missing. I, I couldn't beat the opponent to that ball. I should have went back, and it would have been an easy block. Uh, but here we are, 3-3, 121 left. I'm going left boost here. Um, I always seem to go boost in twos, by the way. I don't, I don't like cheating as much. Um, as boost does give you full... I feel like control of the ball um, when you get that boost because you're able to pick which way you go and they don't they don't know if you're going back to net or if you're cheating up or going to the side. It gives you a lot of chances. Um, I don't like sitting in the corner there keeping that ball alive. I shouldn't have really done that, but it worked out because Barry was a little bit slow to that, that mid hit. So I was able to beat him there and get that score. But learning had a great 50 there. He kept it up. And you could tell he didn't actually try to flick the ball or anything, keep it going crazy. He tried to just stay in front so that it would go straight up and give me the chance for the ball. Um, right here, this guy barely gets a touch. I went for the block. I saw that he was probably going to be able to get a touch on it eventually. Um, and to buy more time right there, I get a demo and a touch for learning to get a chance at a shot. And he gets a great, great kind of hair dribble there to get it over the enemy. I guess not the enemy, the opponent, uh, goalkeeper. As he gets that little touch right there to put it in and kind of wobbles in there. Uh, so here we are. He says all yours, so it's mine. I mean, I think we are doing left goes at this point uh, for the most part. So he kind of passes it down. Great pass. I could have put it a little bit harder maybe to him, but I did try to get it right back to him. Uh, here I try to go for it. I get a block, which is good enough in that situation. And... Really, I thought that guy was going to get a touch, so I went for a block as well. But it all works out and pans out when uh, learning comes around, circles it, and gets the free goal for us. So this is 6-3, to three, 16 seconds left, as Barry Dillon and Vitrix ETB leave that game. So there was a lot of mistakes there yet again. I mean, just mechanical whiffs um, and just not knowing when... Uh, when to go for the ball as it's hard sometimes to realize and recognize when people are missing or they are you know waiting on you or you're waiting on them sometimes it's that awkward situation when everyone's waiting on each other and everyone's just kind of looking at the ball like are you going or am I going uh, but luckily me and I hate learning are actually doing pretty well together uh, we have figured out when we each other are going for the most part we have had a few double commits but it's very important to get a good teammate that you can trust um, as, uh, that'll bring you a lot farther. Uh, I wouldn't suggest solo queuing any playlist besides obviously one so standard. So um, it does make you better. So if, if if you're trying to rank up, I guess I wouldn't try to solo standard or solo it. Just find a teammate that you mesh well with. They don't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, now we're against Viper and Assassin, I believe. So right here, I'm trying to just get a 50. He gets a demo. I heard. I didn't even really see it. Um, and I can't get up to that ball. I don't have enough boost to do anything crazy, so I just get a 50. Learning just kind of struggles there, and he misses the ball. I'm not really sure what happened, but that's it's all good. Everyone makes mistakes, like I said earlier, so as long as you just keep your cool, uh, they'll come back stronger than ever, it seems like, because learning has been playing great in the last two games. So 
let's see here. So I get it left. I get demoed, which is kind of kind of bullshit because that doesn't happen much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, learning gets a good 50 there. Uh, puts it over to the right side. I'm going to try to take this, and then learning kind of cuts me off, which is fine. Just know when to back down. Know if your teammate's going or not. Um, give me a second there. I try to go up for this ball, get a 50. I get a decent 50. Nothing special. I don't even know if I get the touch, really, but decent contest. Um, I do a little fake challenge to make him pop it in the air and do something stupid. And then I go for the block in case he does get something special because I knew that he would be behind me. Go for a redirect. Great pass by, uh, by Learning. I missed the redirect, which is not a big problem. Uh, he tosses it over. I try to follow this ball. I should be a little bit closer to this ball, and that should be a very, a very easy hit, but I uh, wasn't able to read it. Um, he gets that touch, and we're okay. We did double commit yet again. Um, I do keep this one to myself so I can get there for 50. I stay down get the low 50, um, and I get a really nice double double hit on the wall for a pass. And we're uh, tied 1-1 one, one with 321 left. Trying to get as many touches as you can on that sidewall will make the pass so so hard to read while you're in net. That really, your your offensive player will automatically get a free goal if you get one or two extra touches. Here they got a nice little play set up. I should have went right away. Shouldn't have gave him that chance. I saw it coming uh, when he landed in front like that. I knew he was going to come bulldoze me. Should have got out of the way earlier, or I should have went at the ball a little bit earlier. I went a little late. Uh, here we got me pushing up, which is kind of dangerous, but I did trust my teammate. And I went for a demo. He kind of dodged me. He got a good 50, though, and I was able to shoot this right there. Not a powerful shot or anything, but it was enough um, as he was coming off the wall, which makes it a pretty difficult save. But another good low 50 by learning for a free uh, pass. Puts it middle. Very important to get those 50s. Uh, 50s is pretty much this entire game of Rocket League. It's getting a better 50 until you get the opportunity to actually put a shot in. Uh, so I go for a shot there or a pass. I was a little bit of a mixture. It's like, if I can, I will. If I can't, it's all right. It'll be a pass. Right here, I keep control of it. Um, challenging in their corner. I almost put it behind him back post. Uh, barely missed that. Assassin gets a nice flick here. Um, learning's playing it slow. I get in his way. I didn't recognize he was playing slow as he usually all over and up in their business. Uh, and he gets a miss as I get destroyed here in the midfield. With four or five bumps in a row. Uh, Learning tries to take the ball, carries it a little bit, kind of gets it over one as I go back post. Should be a little bit farther back, but it's all good because the guy misses. Um, I'm getting tossed around. I kind of keep, keep rolling with the punches. Um, they get a good pass and almost a shot, but Assassin couldn't come up with the actual shot there, so... We were good on that play. Um, I have zero boost, so I'm trying to just get the touch, get boost, and push up for the pass. Kind of works out. I don't get the great touch, but I just want to make sure we got some sort of touch. Didn't want to give him any chance. Viper gets a nice back wall clear. Um, and he's going for an aerial pass. Right back to Assassin. He gets a nice one. I barely get the save here, and we get really lucky as they didn't have anybody following yet. Uh, I have 43 boost. I don't need boost, but I saw that Sass, or my teammate didn't really go for the boost, so I was fine to get it. Um, as they get a nice clear there by Assassin. Uh, Viper puts it over to Assassin. It's a great passing play. Uh, I should have been there, but I went for that earlier ball on the wall that I shouldn't have. Uh, so you just got to kind of recognize when they're going to get there before you. You can't go for the ball. It's actually better to be safer than not safe and probably twos than anything. Uh, Threes, it's fine. You know, you mess up. You have two other teammates. You're probably going to be okay. But uh, here they double commit. And they get a rough touch, but I pretty useless pass. Um, really, it was a bad pass, but uh, my teammate probably shouldn't have went for that ball. I pitch it across. He gets a nice touch there. I try to beat them this ball, um, thinking they were coming. But we're actually very lucky here as they miss. And learning gets control of the ball here. Tries to get a flick of some sort. Didn't really get it. Um, here I'm able to push up because I have learning right behind me. Um, I make him, make him put it in the air. Learning gets a pretty decent stuff. Uh, puts it to our corner. They get a pretty decent stuff to put it in our corner. Uh, here I try to keep it up. 
he gets a chance of he just doesn't wasn't able to connect I don't know if they got the block or not there but just trying to give your teammates so many chances for passes without putting yourself out of the play is so important um, I see it's a great pass right there I mean really it's a good passing play because we get one two and then I just get the easy easy touch in so it's 3-3, three, three, 17 seconds left. A lot of pressure coming down here. Uh, I'm going to try to put this thing right. Kind of right to him, so he gets a good start here. Um, I'm not sure what happens there to put it against the wall, but he actually solo plays this for the seven seconds to left of the goal. He got really lucky with this. as I know he did mess up a little bit, but he actually made up for it. It's all about improvising in twos. Um, you got you to gotta roll with what you got. Roll with the punches. Um, so... Learning is not going to try to put this right for me. Um, I have six seconds left to just go for the ball here because I do have learning behind me. I get the pop, and that thing's in the air, and we should be fine. Actually, a pretty good pass. Uh, but learning would have had the block on the shot, so we're good there. Um, and that'll do it for the 2v2 series today. Uh, this was episode one. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned a lot. We'll have more coming up in this series. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.